Okay, so on to the next shader in the pack. We're going to tackle these two shaders right here. Um, they're basically the same shader, just one node swapped out in case um, for this one, this one would be an emission shader. Again, if you want to download this pack, it's for free. Uh, the Grumroad link is in the top line of the description if you want to grab that and have some fun with it. But yeah, we're going to tackle these two circle looking uh, shaders. So put in whatever model you want to play with and uh, let's get to shading. So first thing we're going to do, go to the node editor. I'm going to use the node editor uh, preset here in 2.8. Otherwise, just bring up a new window and pull up the shader editor. Um, so I'm going to bring it in, go to the preview. I'm going to take Bloom off for now. All right. So first thing you want to do, add a new shader. I would use the principled BSDF for this. Um, that's my favorite node. It's pretty versatile. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to add a mix shader. And then plop that right in the middle. We're going to take this principled, hit Shift D, and then just duplicate it. And then plug it into this shader here. I'm going to make this top one sort of a light gray and bring the roughness down. And then this one here, I'm going to make it red. And then both of these, I'm going to make them metallic. All right, and also in the red, we're going to bring the roughness up quite a bit. All right, so right now, they're both mixed right now, just both 50% each on that one. Um, so weird, sorry, got to mix these back in. All right, so we need to give it the circles. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a color ramp and a wave texture. Take it, and we're going to take the color, put it in the factor of the color ramp, and the color into the factor of our mix shader. So now we have this. Um, just to explain what's actually going on here for how it's sort of telling it each of these shaders where to go. Um, so what you're seeing right now is exactly what the wave texture looks like in just the black and white. So basically how it works is where it's white, one shader is going to be shown and where it's black a different shader is going to be shown and then where they're sort of gradient or just mixed they're both going to mix together so if with that understanding you can really plug in any kind of black and white um, or anything really but you want to use black and white most of the time so you can get an accurate um, vision of what it's going to look like but you can take a photo or anything any kind of black and white image or texture here and plug it in and it'll tell it where to go so let's plug the shader back into our surface so we can get back to where we're going. And with that understanding, that's what it looks like here, and it's telling each of them where to go. So I'm going to take it, and I want this to be a hard edge. So I'm going to take it from linear to constant. And then I'm just going to drag this over, just like that. And then now, actually, I'm going to take some of the roughness off. It's a little too rough. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a bump node. Plug it right here. Let's take the color of the color ramp, plug it into the height of our bump node. Come on now. And then we'll plug the normal into both normals. All right, so now we have some bumping going on. It'll be better. You can better see the bump going on in... Um, cycles kind of see how it looks here it's subtle but it looks much better than having no bump at all all right now for the emission one super simple just delete the red and add in an emission shader I'm gonna make it blue and I'm gonna give it a strength of 50 and again just drag it all the way up to the new shader and I'm going to put my bloom on so you can see what's going on. Then I'm going to make it a little smaller. And there you go. This is, that's the shader for this one. You can go in and play with um, just the, the parameters of this one here. And just have fun with this. And yeah, there you go. That's the shader. Have fun with it. Yeah, thanks for watching.